Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with a palette that I didn't think I would like and uh, some new fun ideas. So uh, as far as going ahead and getting started, I did go ahead and go for the glowy today. So I used the Glow Oil by Supergoop, the SPF 50. And then I did go ahead and use the Glow Serum by Hard Candy. Um, as my base so these two are my primers and this gives you a very glowy look and it's really pretty it looks a little dark um, but once you start spreading it out it just really goes to just a shiny look it's fun you can get it over at Walmart and then as far as what I used for my actual foundation today the house labs and i have mine in cool fair which is shade 50 and that um i did go ahead and start the cheeks with the candlelit uh by elf halo glow and then i did um i got the alice in wonderland both collections going today on my face so did use wet and wild talk to the flowers palette as far as the cheeks go today and I used uh, these two colors on the bottom of my cheek and then these two colors on the top of the cheek. And so I think it came out pretty. And um, I would recommend this palette. It's great. You can pick it up over at Target. You can pick up the whole collection over at Target. Or you can order it on Ulta. It's a really good collection. And uh, then as far as the highlight today, used uh, Curiouser and Curiouser. Wet n Wild has another palette that looks like a lot like this. It's called the Mega Glow, um, but they are a little bit different. The Mega Glow has three pans of pink and then one pan of white, and this has white, pink, blue, and gold. And so I swirled them all together, and that's what I used as my highlighter today. And again, I would go ahead and suggest any of these. These are both part of the same collection and uh, really really pretty and fun and then as far as what i went ahead and did for the lips today oh here we go okay i used the ColourPop the glowing lip and so this one's in lavender and then the wet and wild and wet and wild does amazing lip lip glosses and so this is one of the alice in wonderland uh lip glosses and so i put these two together and that's what i got and um they're both really fun you can wear this on its own um but like i said i put the two together today and then going on to uh color pop and alice in wonderland i did the lost in wonderland here and so uh, this palette is actually pretty amazing. I didn't think I needed it when it first came out, but uh, for summertime, I would definitely go ahead and recommend it. Also, if you want to do a Halloween look where you do a princess kind of thing, this would work really well as well. So what I did today, let me see if I can get, yeah, there we go. Um, I did this color over here, which is blue and white um it's a duochrome and i took it from here all the way up to the corner and then i used the blue in the crease and that's yeah that's alice's the color of her dress and um i used this purple out in the outer corner and this is also a duochrome it goes uh blue to purple and then i went ahead and used a couple of super shock shades as well um, this is Ember, and so I went ahead and put this on the lid. It's really light blue, almost gray, and so that's what I have on the lid. And then right under the brow, I'm going to have to put the name of this uh, down in the comments because I don't have my glasses, and I can't really see it right now, but it's another duochrome, uh, really light blue to white. So that's what I have on there. 
And so I had a lot of fun playing with this palette. And um, it does have one of their glitters and one of the new type of glitters, the new formula. So this one right here in the middle is actually one of their glitters. And I had that on in the crease um, over this blue shade right here. And it is really pretty. I've already tested it it and it lasted a good 11 hours um so yeah this uh the glitter doesn't fall off and it definitely lasts and it's very very pretty um i also went ahead and used some of the emeride um hot or gel eyeliners on it as well so i went ahead and used these two under the eye as my eyeliner and this one um right on the waterline so that's what I went ahead and did there I think it turned out really pretty this way the eye look came out so that's the way that that came out and I did go ahead and use the usual suspects as far as the NYX Thick It Stick It and Cool Ash Brown for the eyebrows and uh, the Maybelline Sky High and the Essence 18 Hour Wear. I mixed these two for the mascara. It makes my lashes bigger. And yeah, lashes is something I was born with some, but not very much. So, um, <clears throat> oh, and I don't think I added in the bronzer. I used the MAC bronzer. This is the Light Radiant. And it's light, light rosy radiant. And so that's what I have on there as far as the bronzer. I think the look turned out really pretty. And it's a really pretty summer palette. So um, I would definitely suggest going ahead and picking this up. Um, you can get it on Ulta. And I think, well, the ColourPop website or the Ulta website, I think you can pick this one up on. And so really, really fun. Very pastel and uh just came out with a really a really fun look that i'm really enjoying so um i think that's oh i forgot one thing usually i forget one thing glowish as far as my setting powder and this is the fair color um this is by huda you can pick it up in sephora and so that's what i have on there and I am really loving this look. It's light enough um, that, you know, you can wear blue without feeling like you're wearing blue. So, yeah, um, I, I'm just loving the look. And I'll see you later. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.